Thank you for joining me this evening. Please find a space on your mat to sit in a comfortable seated position and begin to feel the weight of your body dropping down. Take a nice breath in and then let it go along with some energy in your body, just releasing the tension. I want to share with you as you continue to breathe deeply, um, a little phrase I heard George Carlin, the comedian say, he said, you probably heard of the phrase, no pain, no gain. He goes, but I'm more of a fan of no pain, no pain. So I like that uh, phrase by George Carlin because in yoga, uh, we want to surf our different stretches and poses and experience um, the practice in the body. But if there is pain, we back away from pain. So please honor your experience in your body. With that being said, let's begin to notice the breath. So you might close your eyes, bring the attention to the breath over the heart and inhale to a count of four, exhaling to a count of four. Continuing in that pattern Finishing this cycle and then inhaling to a count of four and lengthening out the exhale, perhaps to a count of five or six or even more if that's available. Letting the exhale all the way out. Inhale to four and then a long, slow exhale. Possibly like you're blowing through a straw, slowly letting it go. Inhale to a count of four. On the exhale, letting the breath go and the tension in the body. Inhale to four. And exhale at least a four, but perhaps longer, releasing tension in the body. Continue in this pattern for a few more breaths. I'll share the words of Thich Nhat Hanh, breathing in, I know I am breathing in, breathing out, I know I am breathing out, breathing in, I notice my breath has become deep, breathing out, I notice my breath has become slow, breathing in, I calm my body and my mind, breathing out, I am at ease. Breathing in, I notice the joy and beauty of this moment. Breathing out, I send peace to the world. In, out, Deep, slow, calm, ease. Inhale joy, exhale peace. Inhale joy. Exhale, peace. Gently drop your right ear towards your right shoulder and roll the left shoulder in a circle.
stretching the left side of the neck. Inhale the crown of the head up and then bring that left ear over to the left shoulder. Roll the right shoulder, stretching the right side of the neck. Inhale the crown up. Exhale, drop the chin towards the chest. Bring the fingertips to the collarbone. Draw the skin down and then slowly raise the neck, raise the chin, lifting and release. Roll the shoulders, swimming them, and change direction. Reach your arms out into a T. Feel the distance between your fingertips. Shoulder blades together. Drop that right hand to the mat, sweep over in a side bend, pushing that left hip down. Inhale, sweep through the center, exhale, side bend. Inhale through the center, exhale. As you side bend, roll the heart towards the earth, and then inhale and roll the heart towards the sky. Come on through the center, and exhale slowly, rolling the heart towards the earth. Inhale, lift the heart to the sky. Beautiful. Bring the hands to the center of your chest and then reach up like you're reaching for mountain peaks. Exhale down, draw the pinkies and the shoulder blades back and together. Inhale up to the mountain peaks, exhale home. Inhale, mountain peaks, exhale. Fingers and shoulder blades, draw them together. Inhale up, exhale to the heart. Inhale, peak, exhale. Draw the shoulder blades together. Inhale up, exhale, back to home. Drop your left hand to the inside of your right knee and then sweep the horizon. And dropping that right hand down behind you and then sweep the horizon the other direction. Bring it down to the right of the left side and sweep the right hand around and back. Drop the right hand, sweep the left hand around, and back. Enjoying this revolution of the spine. One more time each direction. And sweep it around. I think we need to do one more, one more turn back to the other side. And then coming back to center, and just notice how the spine is feeling. And then find your way over onto your hands and knees. I love to take these cat-cow postures, just warming up the spine, starting with the hip rotation to begin with, and then slowly moving it through the whole spine, arching up in that um, angry cat Marjoriasana pose. Inhale to Bidilasana, that cow posture. Tuck the tailbone, push the spine up. Feel the movement come through the neck, all the way from tailbone to crown. And then coming into your table, hands right underneath the shoulder points, kick your right heel back as a lengthening of your spine. Hold your gaze over the tip of the, of the mat and lift the left thumb, inhale here. Exhale, inhale lift. Exhale, lengthen, inhale, lift, and lengthen. Bring the hand down and the ball of the foot down. Press the hands into the mat and that ball of the foot into the mat and float your left knee. Exhale, push it up to three-legged dog. Big breath here. Exhale, returning to table. A little cat cow. Push the left heel back, lengthen out through the crown, gaze over the edge of the mat, right thumb to the sky. Feel that back body engaging. This is one of the most important exercises here. Inhale, lift, exhale, lengthen. Inhale, feel the back body engage as you lift a little. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, lift, exhale, lengthen. 
hand down, ball of the foot down, press them away from each other until that right knee floats, and then three-legged dog. And slowly find your way back to the table. Hands come forward. Just lower yourself down onto the mat and bring your hands all the way out in front of you like two parallel lines from your tippy toes to your fingertips. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Gaze is right down at the mat. Feel the neck be long. On the exhale, draw the shoulder blades back. Lift the heart. Inhale forward. Fingertips can rest on the mat, on the uh, earth. Exhale, draw the arms into cactus and lift the heart. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale, reach. And back. Reach. And back. Reach. And back. Hands under the forehead. Take a cleansing breath. Bend your knees and rock the heels a little bit. Bring your hands underneath the shoulder points. Push your tailbone back towards the heels. Lengthen out from fingertips to tailbone. Floating forward into plank. Lift the knees. Exhale, push it up to down dog. Let your fingers spread wide. The weight is held at the base of the thumb in the first two fingers. Soften the knees a little bit. Let the chest rest towards the thighs. And when you're ready, pedal the heels down towards the earth. And let your tailbone sway side to side, lengthening out the side body. Take your gaze between your thumbs and walk your hands and feet together to a forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, lengthen out the crown. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, staying here. Exhale, scoop the navel in. Inhale, scoop the navel in, exhale, inhale, and fold. Inhale, sweep the arms behind you, and release. All right, we're going to take a little balance posture now that we're up in our standing, standing position. And what I'm going to suggest um, in this balance today is to work possibly with a chair. Uh, because I'm going to take you into a warrior three posture. And we'll talk about several ways of getting there, okay? So um, have a, having a chair lets you rest your arms on this and activate the back body, okay? So we're going to move from tree to, to warrior three and then crescent moon, okay? So let's begin with, um, I'm going to do it facing this way here towards the chair. Bringing your uh, gaze first to a focus point, then bringing your right uh, foot up onto the calf of the left or onto the thigh if you'd like, and then grow your tree branches and breathe. And then we're gonna float our back foot out. Now you can just let it rest on the mat if you want to. And you can hinge at the hip if you want to, and then use the chair to lean your arms against so that you have a little bit of support as you come out into warrior three. And then activate the back body. Breathing. And then bring that foot behind the other foot Reach up to the sky and lean off towards the back foot, crescent moon. Okay, and release. Now I'll show you yet one other way that you can possibly do this, and that is um, we're going to take it on the other side, and I'm going to show you how having a bent knee sometimes feels easier to get into with uh, the Warrior Three. Okay, so bringing your foot into your tree posture, 
reach up through your hands and breathe. And now when we're coming to warrior three, you might bring your hands to your hips and then let your foot go back, but bend that forward knee so you feel the weight coming over the knee and then feel the back body lift even while your knee is bent. I'm a little bit too close to the wall, so we're gonna scoot forward a little bit. Bent knee, lift up the back body coming into your warrior three and then straighten your knee, breathing. Drop that foot behind, lift the hands up and lean off towards the back foot, crescent moon. All right, we'll take warrior three at one other uh, spot during our practice this evening. I'll just set my chair aside here so that um, you get another chance to do this in a little bit. Okay, so let's come on into our first flow this evening and we'll stand in our mountain posture Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Hands to heart. Inhale, up. Tall mountain. Exhale, plunge. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and step back on the right, taking your block and bringing it to the inside of that left foot. Runner's lunge. Just feel into this lunge a little bit. Exhale, draw the hips back. Let your heart float towards the knee. Inhale, runner's lunge. Exploring, going back and forth from runner's lunge towards your pyramid. Runner's lunge and pyramid. Try to keep a fairly strong back and fold at the hip in pyramid. Draw the left hip back, heart floats towards the knee. Runner's lunge and pyramid. And then setting your block aside, bring the right hand down and take your dragonfly twist. Reach up through that left hand. Draw the right kneecap up. Bring that left hand down. Position the back foot in a warrior one posture and sweep yourself up to warrior one. Bring the right hand in front of the left elbow, so it's almost like an upside down four, and draw that left arm way back and up. And then straighten the front knee. Exhale, return to a warrior one. Let the knee fold right over the ankle. Inhale it back. Exhale, warrior one. On the inhale, the number four with the arms and draw that left hip back. Exhale, warrior one. Back and forth here. With the breath. One more time. And down. Now bring your hands to your hips and turn the back toes towards the uh, three o'clock. And we're gonna take a warrior two pose. Intergelace the hands in a Ganesh Mudra, pulling firmly here. And then unfold the arms, warrior two. Switch the grip, exhale, Ganesh Mudra. And unfold the arms. Letting the shoulders soften away from the ears. Engage the low core, the pelvic floor. Use your exhales. Sweep back into warrior, reverse warrior. And then gently drop the elbow to the knee and the right arm reaches up. Straighten out that forward knee, coming to Trikonasana. Feel the lift in that top arm and float back to Sky Warrior. Left hand reaches up to the sky and the left toes lift, coming up onto the heel. 
and windmill the arms. And step back for your flow. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or up dog. Exhale, down dog. And then we'll take these postures on the other side. Inhale that right foot up and bring it forward between the hands. Take the block to the inside of that foot. Coming to your runner's lunge here and then draw the hip back for your crescent lunge. Inhale forward. Exhale back for pyramid, I should say. Drawing that right hip back and floating the heart down towards the knee. Inhale forward, runner's lunge. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale. And exhale. Once more, inhale forward. And exhale. Set the block aside, left hand down, dragonfly twist. Draw the left kneecap up. Bring the right hand down. Position the back foot for a warrior one stance and rise to warrior one. And now here we'll take that left hand underneath the elbow of the right. And as you draw that arm up, straighten the forward knee, drawing that right hip back. Exhale, deepen into warrior one. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, warrior one. Bring that knee right over the ankle. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Last time, lift. And sink into warrior one. Hands to the hips. Turn the back toes to uh, nine o'clock. This will be work your front toes over so you have a heel toe alignment with the arch of the back foot. That turns your hips a little bit to the side. And then we're going to peel out our arms into a warrior two, but let's begin with that Ganesh Mudra. With Ganesh Mudra, you're interlocking those fingertips, pulling them apart, shoulder blades down firmly, and release the arms out. Warrior two, take a breath. Flip the grip, Ganesh Mudra, pull, lower the shoulders, and release, warrior two. Turn the front palm over, raise the hands to the sky, reverse warrior. Slowly lower, elbow to the knee, extended side angle. Feel the heart open up to the side. Draw that front uh, hip back, coming to Trikonasana. And feeling those top fingers in the air, feel the lift there, keep a strong core. As you switch the fingers, the hands, the right hand goes to the sky for Sky Warrior. Lift the toes on the front foot. And release, windmilling the arms, bringing them down to the mat and step the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it up. And release. And letting go, empty coat sleeves. And then we'll take a little bit of a flow using a B series, so Siri Namaskara B. Standing in your mountain, Lower by bending the hips and the knees, coming into a modified chair with the arms behind you. And then reach the arms forward like you're hugging a giant redwood. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale. Dive to the earth. Forward fold. Inhale half lift and fold, stepping out to your plank. 
taking a little flow here, knees, chest, chin, or a chaturanga. Unfold into an up dog or a cobra. Exhale, down dog. Then lift that left heel, bend the knee and stack the hips. Bring that left foot forward between the hands. I'm gonna rise into a crescent lunge. From crescent lunge, we're gonna launch into warrior three. So keep a bent knee as you come forward, raise the back, lift the legs, feel, lift the leg and the back body engaged. Last thing, straighten the knee, breathe. Bring that foot back down, crescent lunge. Option for eagle arms, left arm under right. Unfold the arms and tripod the hands out for a standing split. Now I won't be able to go into a full split, but you get the idea, lift the back foot. Drop that back foot back down, crescent lunge. Now we're coming into a um, half moon. So take your block, angle it off, the, off of the foot, lift the back heel, then rotate the heart to the side. Flex the back foot, lift the arm up, and breathe. And release that foot back to the earth and step back for your flow. So a few challenging poses tonight, but you can get there with a little practice or make the modifications that work for you. Taking your flow, meet me in down dog. We'll do these postures on the other side. Inhale the right foot up and bend the knee and stack the hips. Bring that right foot forward. Hold a focus point, two lanes of traffic, crescent lunge. Holding a focus point, come forward with that bent knee and activate the back body as you rise into warrior three. Lift the back heel, feel strong back body and breathe. Landing back, crescent lunge. This time, right arm under left. Or was it left arm under right? Eagle arms. Unfold the arms, tripod them out from the foot, standing split. Look behind you, take a moment for a neck inversion. Let the back foot come down to the mat. Rise in crescent lunge. And our last pose in this flow is half moon. Taking the block on the hand, uh, just angle it off of the foot, the standing foot. Rotate the hips towards the side of the room. Flex the back foot, lift the top arm up and breathe. Release the back foot down, step the right foot back to meet the left and take your final flow. Inhale, lift the heart and exhale. Push the tailbone up. Option to pause here for three to five breaths. Looking between your thumbs, step forward to chair or to a forward fold. Inhale, a halfway lift. Exhale, soften and let your hips lower a bit. Stretch the arms behind you. Reach up into your chair. Like a skier, plant your poles, push the arms back. 
Inhale forward. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lift and pull. Inhale, lift, push to the heels and rise. And release. Beautiful. Okay, good practice. Okay, come to the side of your mat and step out nice and wide. Let your heels be out a little bit further than your toes. Press into the tops of your hips as you lengthen up through the spine. Press off into a long spine as you fold the heart towards the earth. Bring the hands down right underneath the gaze. Let the tailbone lean back a bit. Crawl the fingertips forward, gently nod the head side to side. Walk both hands over to the left foot. Draw your heart towards the left knee. And slowly walk both hands over to the right foot. And draw the heart towards the right knee. Bring the hands back under the gaze and bring your knees down to the mat. And you might even use your block right in front of you if you'd like. We'll kick the right foot out. So we prepare to stand on that left, uh, left knee. Reach out through that side body and lean over in a gate posture towards that extended leg. Beautiful. Breathing and releasing. A little weight to the block, bringing that knee down and then extending the foot on the other side. Reach up from that knee right through the arm and sweep over in a little bit of a gate posture. Breathing. And release. All right, let's find our way down onto the mat. We'll take a little core practice here. Slowly unwind the spine onto the mat. Draw the knees in. Slide your thumbs right below the sacrum, giving the tailbone just a little lift. Shins over the, in a tabletop position, the knees right over the hips. Press the right foot away, exhale, inhale it back. Exhale the left foot away. Feel that energy coming from deep inside the belly, reaching right through your toes. Inhale it back, exhale. Inhale it back and exhale and back. Now you can continue alternating or you can do both feet at the same time. Inhale and back, exhale out. Inhale and exhale. Working with your core here, stay strong and breathing. You can also leave your feet out and horizontal scissor kick, crossing one leg over the other. Beautiful. Don't forget to breathe. Go wide with the inhale, exhale, cross. Inhale and cross. Two more. Knees in, hands on the knees, and rotate some circles on the back. Option to change directions. Very good. Bring the left foot down behind the glute. Extend the right foot, and then just reach a little bit to support the back of the head as we're gonna roll the heart up. Lengthen out through that right arm. On the exhale, reach the right arm towards the left knee. Inhale it back and up, back and four, back and three, back and two, back and last one. And switch the feet, reach the left arm back and exhale, inhale it back, and exhale, reaching for the knee, lifting the heart, 
and four and three and two. Last one. And release, letting the neck and the head come down to the mat. Plant your heels right behind the glutes and go ahead and bring a block right underneath the sacrum for Vipariti Karani. Legs up the wall. Float the shins and let the heels float up to the sky. Take a big breath in. Let it go as the heels drift apart. Reach the toes for the corners of the room. Breathing and releasing. Heels can come back together. Bring that left knee in. As the right heel drops, draw that left leg long, getting a hamstring stretch as you draw your heart towards the knee. And switching, bring the right knee in. Left heel goes long. Walk your hands up the back of the right leg. Hamstring stretch on that side. And release. Both feet down to the mat. Lift up and let your block out from underneath you. And we'll take eye of the needle, bringing the right ankle across the left knee. Hands around the back of the left thigh. Right elbow into the right knee. And the right ankle flexed. Softly rock a little bit back and forth. Just exploring that stretch as you draw that left knee in. Breathing. And releasing. Take that right foot off the ankle, that uh, ankle off the knee. Bring your left ankle to the knee. Just press that knee away just a little bit and slide your hands around the back of that left uh, right thigh and draw the right knee in. Keep the left ankle flexed and the left elbow presses into the thigh. And breathing. A little rocking left and right to intensify that stretch. Another option with this posture is just to hold the foot directly, kind of rocking the, the lower leg like a, a baby in the arm. And releasing. I'm gonna take a long spinal twist here, lengthening through the right leg, bring the left knee into the right hand and sweep it all the way across, stretching that left leg way out in front of you. The left arm with the gaze out behind you. Take a breath in. Exhale, release. Put that right hand underneath the knee and bring yourself back through center. Bringing the right knee in to the left hand. Draw it across the body and out in front of you. Let the right hand go with the gaze out behind you. Big breath in and let it go. One more breath and release. Left hand under the right knee, bring yourself back to center. And let's begin to unwind ourselves in our final resting posture, Shavasana. Let your shoulders roll under a bit, lengthen through your legs, let the feet fall apart just a bit. Bring your attention to your breath, take a nice full breath in. And exhale, let it go. Breathing in, I notice I am breathing in. I'm breathing out. I notice I am breathing out. I'm breathing in. I notice my breath has become deep. I'm breathing out. 
I notice my breath has become slow. Breathing in, I calm my body and my mind. Breathing out, I am at ease. Breathing in, I send joy to the world. Breathing out, I send peace, peace to the world. In and out. Deep and slow. Calm and ease. Inhale joy, exhale peace. Inhale joy for the world, exhale peace on earth. Resting your attention now with your breath over the heart as you let the body soften. Feeling the echo of your practice. Letting go. Drink in a little breath. Finding a small movement in the body or enjoying stillness for a few more breaths. And this practice is always for you. Taking what serves. Lengthening out into a bit of a stretch, if that feels good. When you're ready, draw your knees in towards your chest. Cross the ankles, rock a little bit back and forth. Massage the low back. then take your time and come to a seated posture to close our practice time together. Bringing your hands to your heart. Thank you for your practice, for your attention to practice in your body. May you have joy and peace in the season. And thank you for sharing practice with me. Om Shanti. Namaste. Thank you, friends. What a beautiful year we've had practicing yoga together. I hope you continue to practice with me and enjoy these these sessions that are recorded as well at any time that they serve you. Have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.